Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Ann West and we're back again with another video. I just personally wanted to make this video just, you know, because I think this is going to be a special video. Um, so this is the, the message. Uh, this is the scene. Um, this says scene one, but this is actually the scene when it comes to the Sahaba and the king, uh, the king of Abyssinia, uh, which is, I believe, nowadays Ethiopia. Um, pretty much indicating that uh, this is the time when the Sahaba retreated to Abyssinia uh, to pretty much flee from being persecuted. So I just wanted to make that quick introduction. Let's go on ahead and get right into the video. No time wasted. Let's just get right into it. Good. Their stiff necks will hang them. Do you not bow to yourselves before your prophet? Muhammad is a man. We kneel only to God. Where are Muhammad's miracles, Jafar? If he were a prophet, he'd light the sky with miracles. Indeed, this is true. God has given his prophets the sign of miracles that we may recognize them. The miracle of Muhammad is the Holy Quran. A book, a book, written by an illiterate, attributed to God. I think the emperor has heard enough. I'm mindful of Pentecost, when God sent down tongues of fire upon the heads of Christ's apostles, so they could speak the many languages of the world that they knew not before. But do such miracles happen in our times? I've heard enough. You've made a poor case. When we suffered persecution in Mecca, Muhammad told us, go to Abyssinia, the land of a righteous king where no man is wronged. What they called persecution was fair punishment. Their disorder and their... Why did your prophet send you to me? Because you believe in the book of the one God as we do. He sent us because in your heart God will protect us. Talking with them is like drawing water from a mirage. But they've now laid a duty on me to listen to them, my friend. Go on. For years, we worshipped wood and stone, images of our own manufacture. We lived in ignorance of God. We had few earthly laws and no heavenly laws. The rich neglect the poor and the natural pity of man, whereby he lifts his brother up when he has fallen, is described by them as upsetting social order. To this inhumanity, has come a man whom God chose. And in that we believe. You are overcome. I beg you to collect yourself. I speak of the messenger of God. Muhammad teaches us to worship one God, to speak truth, to love our neighbors as ourselves. To give charity, even a smile can be charity. To protect women from misuse. To shelter orphans. And to turn away from gods of wood and stone. I cannot keep still and hear this blasphemy. We are an ancient civilization. To call our gods wood and stone is to speak ignorantly of them. The idol, the form, is not what we worship but the spirit that resides within the form. I agree that idolatry is not always fully understood. Thank you. 
Now let me bring him back to the women. God made woman to be the proper companion of man. She is different, but equal. Equal! We buy them. Feed them, clothe them, use them, discard them. Women equal to us? <laughs> God created man from one male and one female. Oh, you must respect in all women the womb that bore you. Why are your 300 gods so tongue-tied? While his only god is eloquent. God has spoken to us before. Through Abraham, Noah, Moses, and through Jesus Christ. Why should we be so surprised that God speaks to us now through Muhammad? Who taught you those names? They are named in the Quran. I knew Muhammad when he was an orphan minding sheep. And we knew Christ as a carpenter. What Christ says, and what your Muhammad says, is like two rays from the same lamp. They are lying to you. They deny Christ. You worship three gods, they say. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they say. What do you say of Christ? They say God cannot have a son. Christ is not the Son of God. Speak to me of Christ. We say of Christ what our prophet has taught us. That God cast his Holy Spirit into the womb of a virgin named Mary. And that she conceived Christ, the Apostle of God. The Apostle, he says, not the Son, not the Son. What does your miracle, your Quran, say of the birth of our dear Lord Jesus Christ? May I relate the words? Come closer to me. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Relate in the book the story of Mary, how she withdrew from her family to a place in the East, how we sent to her our angel, Gabriel, who said, I am a messenger from your God to announce the birth of a holy son to you. She said, how shall I, Mary, have a son when no man has touched me? And Gabriel replied, for your Lord says, it will happen. We appoint him as a sign unto man and a mercy from us. It is a thing ordained. between us and you is no thicker than this line. Not for a mountain of gold will I give them up to you. You may live in Abyssinia in peace for as long as you wish. May God's blessings be upon you on your return. Woo, that was a pretty good one. That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to like switch up the video there because the last video was one video I was watching was just very laggy. It was like the, it was like it was as if it was recorded and lagging at the same time. So I had to pull up a different video. <laughs> Oh man, I have to rewatch this movie. It's been almost, um, almost a year. Like I think another two months, three months. It would have been a year since I watched this movie. Um, from what I understand, um, is that the movie doesn't have everything that's accurate within it. But at the same time, I think that they didn't have anything wrong with this scene. The only thing that there was wrong with that particular scene is that they said the Holy Son. Um, but it was actually, uh, I think it says something along the lines of like a pure son or something like that, not holy per, per se, but at the same time, how you translate that, 
uh, can be very, you know, you got to walk the lines of like, what does that mean? Like even pure, like technically that's what holy means. Like in a sense, like holy means pure and something like the Christianic term. Um, but at the same time, like, I think like the, there was a video I was watching that was saying that they just stick to pure when they say pure, like he wasn't corrupted as far as like with uh as a human so like he's like pretty much just like an apostle like he was saying in the video i remember when i watched it a long time ago uh i was actually dumbfounded because i was like you know i didn't know like how the relationship with christ was in islam and it's technically the same it's literally the same thing except that they just don't believe that he was he's god he's the son of god and per, like you know legitimately as far as like he is actually the son of god um and when I found out that this was like pretty much, and then like not only just that, when they found out, when I found out that they, he, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sent the his Sahaba to Ethiopia to retreat and so they would be protected was also a beautiful thing. You know, I think the one thing about, um, you know, one thing about cultures is that we respect the beauty in all cultures and um and just as much as you see in this scene you see like a variety of things you not only just see the differences in opinion but you also see the beauties of accepting individual culture like accepting not only just the culture of abyssinia but accepting the religion of abyssinia and the abyssinia even though they're majority christian they accepted uh, they accepted uh, people from a different land that practiced something totally different. I talked enough. That's all I really wanted to say for this video. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. If you really want to see more content, I'm going to try to do my best in recording more videos here soon. But nonetheless, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and love to you.